What's up, guys? What's up, Habs fans? What's up, NHL fans in general? This is S2H back in action once again, and I just wanted to give you guys a channel update on why I haven't been talking about the Habs lately, why I haven't done game reviews. It's not because they've been losing to Ottawa or Toronto or anything like that. I'm not a salty Habs fan that only, do, only does reviews when they win. It's because I currently moved out of my old house. I've been moving all week. I'm into a new location. I finally have some area cleared away, a little bit of space to make a little set for myself. So we have the NHL blanket with the, all the uh, Canadian teams on top, the kids playing pond hockey in front of the pond. We have the set with the Jose Theodore Puck, the mini Stanley Cup of the Montreal Canadiens, the mini uh, Stanley Cup ring of the Montreal Canadiens, a couple pictures. I'm going to add more things to the background for videos and hopefully work an angle where my door isn't showing in my video. I'm going to put something over this so it's not showing up in the background of the video. I know you guys probably don't mind it, but for me it's an eyesore. So I just wanted to give you guys that channel update. But after the channel update, let's talk a little bit about the Montreal Canadiens recently. I don't want to get into their record. I don't want to get into what individual players are doing points-wise. I just want to talk about how this team looks from where they were in the beginning of the season to now. And I don't know if it's just Toronto and Ottawa is bringing the worst out of Montreal, but what I've seen from the Canadians so far in the past five or six games has really worried me. This has been a high-octane team that once they got a puck, once they first forced a turnover in their own end, they were up the ice in a matter of seconds. They were generating plays. They were making crisp passes. Their power play was looking good. Their penalty kill was looking phenomenal. They weren't giving up much. They were scoring a ton. But in the past six or seven games, I don't understand what is wrong with this team. They look like they're stuck in the mud. And a big part of the problem is their transition game, getting out of their own end when they get the turnover, passing up the ice cleanly, uh, getting three players back, three forwards back right away, up in the other end, confusing defenses, confusing goalies. It just hasn't been happening. They'll cause a turnover, they'll go to pass it out, they'll immediately turn it over again. And then they're defending most of the time in their own zone. And then on top of that, as phenomenal as Jake Allen has been, the guy we want, our starter, our $10.5 million goalie, the guy who's supposed to bring us to the promised land with a good team. <clears throat> he finally has a good team in front of him. In my opinion, it's a good team. Kerry Price has been, he's been playing some of the worst hockey I've seen him play in years. He had that good game against Toronto last Saturday, yes. He pointed it, posted a 955 save percentage. He only allowed one goal. He looked phenomenal in that game. But since then, in the past two starts that I've seen from Kerry Price, since then, he's letting too many goals in high. He's down, his, he's down in his crease. He's not in position. One thing Kerry Price is known for, he's always in position. Even if you're giving up a bad shot attempt, Kerry Price is always in position to at least have a chance to make the save. And I'm seeing Kerry Price now where he's letting in weak goals. The Montreal Canadiens lost last night to a shootout to Brady Kachuk, but they had the lead in the third period. They were up 4-3 to three, uh, to the Ottawa Senators, not to Brady Kachuk. That's how much Kachuk is on my mind from last night. But they had the lead against the Ottawa Senators. They were up 4-3. to three. They looked like they had the game in the bag to fully score that goal late with like 11 minutes. They were playing good defensive hockey. And then Kachuk comes down. He gets in the zone. He manages to get behind one of our defensemen. He comes in. He puts a weak back, backhand on Price. It didn't look like much. 99.9% .9 of the time, Kerry Price would stop that puck. And in a crucial moment where the Habs had the lead, they could have held the lead, he gives up one of the weakest goals I've ever seen Kerry Price give up. It, it looked like a, an amateur goalie could have stopped that. It was a weak backhand. Kerry Price didn't slide out of position. His five hole was just open, and I guess he went to move to shut the five hole, and he had the slowest reaction I've ever seen to a weak backhand in the NHL in my life. And it went in the net, and it ended up costing the Habs the game in the long run. People would say Montreal got robbed by the refs on the late goal by Galli that got turned back. But the real dagger, the real thing that in my mind turned us around, when that happened, I was like, the Habs are going to lose this game. I don't know how I knew it, but in my head, I just knew the Habs were going to lose this game, was when Brady Kachuk scored that weak backhand. Kerry Price made some good saves in last night's game, but overall, the Kerry Price we want to see, we're not seeing. I want to see a solid 920 save percentage. I want to see three or four consistent good performances in a row. He has it in him, and we just haven't seen it this year. He'll have one or two good games, a, game, a good game, and then he'll have two atrocious games, terrible games. His overall record isn't horrible. It's basically a 500 record now, but his save percentage is not good. His goals against is not good, and his past few performances have not been good. So Kerry Price is really worrying me. And on the defensive end, they haven't been scoring a lot lately. They picked it up last night. Shea Weber, Jeff Petrie, Joel Edmonds, Saying, what can I say about those guys? I can't say anything bad about those guys. Weber have had, Weber's had a few lapses in front of his own net in the past few games, but really, I've loved what I've seen from the defense so far in Montreal. Uh, I cannot blame any of these losses on the defense. To me, what it is, 
It's them not being able to break out of their own end like they were, not being able to generate the offense that they were. And the goalie, the goalies are only letting in two or three goals. Even Price only lets in four goals here and there when he does have a bad game. And the team just can't seem to score their way out of it like they were doing in the beginning of the season. It just not coming to them like it was in the beginning of the season. Uh, maybe Tyler Toffoli and Josh Anderson were overperforming, and now they can't carry the team like they were in the beginning of the season. And we need to see guys like Thomas Tatar really step it up. Philip Deneau needs to score a goal. It was good to see Drew Ann score a goal last night, but even though he's known as a playmaker, it would be good to see more guys try and get goals instead of be the playmakers. We have Galley, we have Toffoli, we have Anderson, we have Thomas Tatar. All these guys are capable of scoring goals, and I would like to see the Montreal Canadiens score more goals. They did a good job of it last night, but Kerry Price's poor performance cost the Habs the game, in my opinion. He had bright spots in the game, but if Kerry Price had to be more on his game last night, the Habs would have won the game. And that has been consistently the story over the past few games. The Habs either can't outscore the other team, they let in one or two goals and they just can't seem to find a way to score, or they do score a lot of goals and the goalie, or the goalie just, Carey Price lets in a lot of goals. Because I can't say the goalie, because Jake Allen has been solid, even in his overtime loss to Ottawa a couple of games ago. If Jake Allen wasn't as solid as he was, the Montreal Canadiens would have, wouldn't even got to overtime, wouldn't even got that point in that game. And now they're on the fringe of losing a playoff spot. They really are. Calgary only needs to win two or three games in a row. If the Habs lose two games in a row, their next two games to Winnipeg, all of a sudden Calgary is in their playoff spot. And the Habs are fighting for that fourth spot in the North Division. They had a nice bit, they had a nice little lead at the beginning of the season. Within 10 games, they had like a four, five, six point gap with a couple games in hand. And that's pretty much diminished now. They have a three point lead with one game in hand. And we all know how fast that can go in the NHL. So I am a little bit worried about the Habs. I am a little bit worried about what I'm seeing, but I really hope they can pick it up. Uh, Yuspiri Kakanyemi, Nick Suzuki, those guys have been showing the past few games what they're capable of, and their game has really been coming out. As long as the defense keeps shooting on the back end, they can pick up their power play, because the power play has been atrocious like it has been the past few years, but I know it can be better with the pieces they have. They can pick up that power play, they can find a way to make Shea Weber more effective on the point, more effective with a slap shot, like they did in last night's game. I really think this team can turn it around. They have good goal scorers, they have Josh Anderson up front, they have Tyler Toffoli up front. Both these guys are in the top 10 in scoring. Todd Foley, I believe, is in the top five right now in the NHL when it comes to goal scoring. They have Brendan Gallagher. They have uh, really good, solid defense, really good, solid goaltending. But Kerry Price, I know he is a better goalie than this. I know we will see better from him, but he needs to pick it up. If the Habs are going to go all the way this year, if they're going to go to the Stanley Cup Finals, which they are capable of, I truly believe with this team that they can go to a Stanley Cup Final. Kerry Price needs to bring his A game. Because imagine if we were getting the Kerry Price that we were getting in 2018, 2019, this year. If he was standing on his head every single game, posting a 930, 940 save percentage every other game. Imagine how good this team would be if they were getting that kind of goal to Kerry Price and Jake Allen. I uh, can only imagine how good the Habs would be at this point. But that's just some thoughts on the Habs this year. Uh, this year, Just a little bit of a Habs fans rant and uh, a little channel update for you guys. Hope you guys like the new set. I will be adding more memorabilia to it like you guys see my old set. I'll be having uh, some more hockey cards and stuff over here. i got some Brendan Gallagher patch cards I'd like to put in the background. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. I just had to guys give you guys a channel update and tell you guys I'm not a Salty Habs fan that only does reviews when my team wins. I've moved out in the past few weeks and I also did lose a family member this week. I lost my grandmother. May she rest in peace. So I really wasn't able to do videos uh, mentally or physically because I didn't have a physical place to do it because we were moving in and out of my old house and I had to unpack all my stuff. But it's been a pretty rough week for me, but I'm in a new three-bedroom house, beautiful basement, beautiful hardwood floors, beautiful bedroom. This is my master bedroom. My girlfriend gave me this little section to do my videos. God love her. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with it and I'm very, very looking forward to see the Habs take out the Winnipeg Jets in the next two games. Let's go Habs. Two wins in a row. Get back to that third spot in the division because if they beat Winnipeg the next game, they're automatically in that third spot in the division because Winnipeg is one point up on the Montreal Canadiens and the Habs are taking them out and taking that spot back. Go Habs, go baby. This is S2H. Stay tuned for some more passionate content and if you can, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and if you don't like it, hit that unlike button, hit that unsubscribe button. It's all good. I just really like you guys tuning into my videos, leaving comments and Sharing the hockey talk, sharing the hockey love, whatever team you root for, Habs, Leafs, Boston, West team, East team, we're all hockey fans. Go Habs, go. Stay safe and take care of yourself wherever you're to, folks. This is S2H, over and out. Enjoy the new set. Enjoy the new look.